The other day, my 10-year-old said, I'm terrible at math. So my wife and I talked to her about how negative self-talk could actually lead to her never being good at math. I told her that saying that when I was younger helped me be bad at math. And then I thought, well, maybe that's a bad example of continuing to engage in negative self-talk. So maybe I should have said to her, if you keep telling yourself you're bad at math, you could be as bad as Washington, D.C. is with math. Because when it comes to border numbers, D.C. is terrible at math. Yeah, the frontline border enforcement personnel are seeing mind-numbing numbers of migrants. But their bosses back in D.C. DC either are truly bad at math, don't have calculators, or don't care about the migrants and the border communities they affect. They're just the price that needs to be paid for political talking points. August numbers show a worsening crisis, bad enough that last year's record number has already been surpassed, and we have a month to go in this fiscal year. Oh, and the worst spot is Arizona. In August, 233,000 migrants, about as many people as live in Scottsdale, were encountered on the entire southwest border by border Patrol and other Customs and Border Protection agents. About 100,000 more than July and bringing this year's incomplete total to 2.86 million migrant border encounters. You'd think that President Biden or Congress or heck anybody in Washington could do enough math to figure out we need more Border Patrol agents, more immigration judges, and hey, maybe even more legal ways to enter the country so that our border numbers just don't keep growing. For the second month in a row, the Tucson sector was the number one sector in the entire country, where the Border Patrol had 49,000 migrant encounters, a number that was up by almost 10,000 from July. And more than 3,000 of them were unaccompanied minors. Yes, kids traveling alone without a parent. Adding up all of the CBP numbers in Arizona show that more than 4,100 unaccompanied minors were encountered in our state in August 2023, the fourth hottest month in Arizona's history. Which makes me wonder how many future encounters the Border Patrol will have with the skeletons of dead children.